All right, yes, a competition rock crawler. We are gonna convert a rock crawler. A bunch of the guys in the shop have been playing with RCs lately. And then a friend of the shop, Chris, we might regret this, dropped this off and gave it to us, said, go wild. We're gonna go wild. All right, so what we have is a 1985 Toyota 4Runner. And uh, for those that know, this is the last year of the solid front axle. Some guys will literally call it the last year Toyota made a truck. Uh, and it's, it's already had quite a bit of work to it. We've had the front and rear differentials lowered. They're uh, 529s right now. And we have a double reduction on the transfer case. So our first box is a 228 to one and our second box is the 447 to one. Uh, so I'll add it up with, you know, you're at like 50 to 1 in first gear, just something crazy, crazy low. So we've, we'll, we know we can climb uh, well with what we've already got. And so that's what's going to make it a fun conversion because we'll go right into the factory drivetrain and use all that stuff. Up front, we've got some uh, Bobby Long chromoly axles. So we've got the front built up a little bit and the rear were uh, spooled up on the differential and we've got a limited in the front. So. As far as it goes, pretty capable for a Toyota. It's not top of the line, but it's a nice, um, just very, very capable rock crawler. And uh, if you're anything like the rest of us here in the shop, you're probably real excited to see what this will do with an electric motor. And um, you know, for competition-wise with the electrics, it's fantastic. These courses tend to be really short and we need lots of torque. And both of those things, the electric motor does really, really well. And we don't have to worry about a huge battery pack for large uh, distances. All right, well, uh, step one, gas tank delete. You can see it right there. Uh, we're actually gonna put a battery pack down there so we have a real low center of gravity. We're gonna split the pack between the lower section here and actually up front. In a rock crawler, you want a lot of weight up front to grip those front wheels. So we're gonna put some battery weight up front and then the rest of it down here so we have a real low CG and hopefully prevent it from rolling again. This thing's rolled a few times. Out. You know, so typically when we're converting to electric, we want to use all the advances of a modern electric motor. And a lot of that includes a transverse mount with a ring gear reduction, highly efficient. And it's really what you want to use. But once you start getting to complex drivetrains like this with real high suspension travel, high articulation, it's really tough for that independent suspension and a lot of the stuff that we find in the electric vehicles. So we're gonna kind of go back you know, uh, to our roots and really do like a transmission-based conversion in this truck. And that way we'll get all the gear reduction, we'll get the torque multiplier, and we don't really have to touch any of the undercarriage or any of the drivetrain that's already very capable. You can see here the gas tank uh, takes up quite a bit of space and there's a lot of clearance even above the drive shaft. So we're gonna have a battery enclosure on both sides of the drive shaft, kind of like saddlebags, get rid of the exhaust and some of this other stuff in here. And uh, that's about it for the underside. Less money on paint just means more money on the battery pack. I mean, nothing wrong with this. So it's got, it's got dual winches, front and rear, which is kind of nice. I'm told the winch on the back is famous. It came out of Casey Curry's vehicle, so that makes a winch famous these days. Um, but we're just excited about the project, you know, and I'd like to uh, hear from you guys. Tell us if you know of any West Coast rock crawling events you want to see us at. Um, 
you know, if you've got a new uh, paint scheme you'd like to suggest, we'll promptly ignore that. And uh, anything else, we're new to rock crawling and we're just really trying to have fun. You know, this is a lot like our Pikes Peak project, the Mexican 1000 project, the Bonneville project we did a couple months ago. We're just trying to push the limits to see what these electric motors can do and learn. We're all here just to learn and have fun. And uh, so come along, learn a few things with us. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> Feet out the window. <laughs>